The BBC recently published a detailed analysis they did on the use of social media by Iranian opposition groups pushing for the ousting of their current regime. The BBC identified three main groups, the MKO, Reza Pahlavi's Farage Guard, and the Restart Movement. While Twitter is officially banned in Iran, it is accessible through VPNs and proxy websites and has become the major platform being used in Iran to communicate with the international community. By mapping data gathered from Twitter, BBC researchers were looking for inauthentic activity. In other words, activity generated by fake accounts or automated posting, otherwise known as bots. What they discovered was that most of the activity among the MKO and Farage Guard was inauthentic. And Restart was made up of mostly unique accounts and appeared to be an actual movement of Iranian citizens. Regardless of this discovery, the BBC criticized the Restart movement for their tactics, which they wrote were intended to try and overwhelm individuals and harass political and media figures. The BBC found that Restart was mostly targeting the U.S. State Department's Persian accounts, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, President Trump, and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, which makes sense. The Restart movement has made it clear that they want friendly alliances with both Israel and the United States, as well as constitutional independence that will include freedom of speech and the right to bear arms. This authentic social media campaign has not gone unnoticed. In what appears to be a signal of solidarity, the U.S. State Department has replied by stating that the U.S. does not support the MKO or Farage Guard and only supports a populist movement that serves to manifest freedom for the Iranian people. And now that the U.S. State Department has designated the Islamic Republic Guard as a terrorist organization, it is beginning to seem that Restart is getting the support they were looking for. Out of concern for another illegal war, Senator Rand Paul warned Secretary of State Pompeo that he has not been given power or authority by Congress to have war with Iran. This designation marks the first time that the U.S. has said that a part of another government is a terrorist organization. And the White House has stated that it will expand the scope and scale of the administration's maximum pressure campaign on the Iranian regime. For Infowars.com, this is Greg Reese.